Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gauntlet Podcast. This is the second episode where we will be going over Swifties vs. the World, and I am joined by my beautiful co-host, Keilani. Hi! And we have a special guest with us this time, Season 13 contestant, Madeline Tansy. Hi! <laughs> so I know we kind of went over Swifties vs. the World in the debut episode, but we didn't <coughs> talk... Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. We didn't <laughs> talk about it that much. So I thought we'd take an in-depth look today and see what happened. Because it was kind of crazy, especially with the three quits, the way we kicked it off. <laughs> well, actually, two quits, well, one med One med We, we, who was med Me? med Oh, oh, no. Coda was med Oh. Coda's med was very interesting because I just got out of the shower <laughs> and I was looking at my phone. And it was like, you were like, you sent me like 30 text messages and it was like... <laughs> Okay. Sorry, I was panicking. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. That's okay. Everyone else moved up a spot. So Leo was technically first voted out, and he placed 13th out of 16. He was so mad about that. That was so funny. I was trying my best to save him too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, you- I was. I got Emily Holbrook. I remember. To, that. I got her, mm-hmm. and I also didn't know what the fuck I was doing, so I kind of <laughs> got scared. And so I was like, I don't want to be a bitch. And then I just kind of sat back for a little bit. Leo was uh, trying to do a three to two vote split, uh, three on Shay, two on Delaney, and it didn't work. He got you and Kai, but Emily and Ailish voted with them to vote Leo out. Oh, I just know Leo had this big beef against <laughs> Shay. <laughs> Wait, why? I don't even fully remember. I just knew. All I know is she, is Leo just has this mega like hatred towards Shay. <laughs> I feel like a lot of it was was when Shay, Shay like tore him to shreds over his music mania slide. Probably. Which was like Doki Doki literature to class. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> that, that was very Ollie core of him. <laughs> that got actually high ratings though. Except well um I don't I think guest judge Alyssa didn't like it, but um I know um Maddie Kearns was like this is goaded and I was like honestly yeah it is when we were talking about it on the judge panel so Fair enough. Well done, Leo. Sorry yeah. you did not last long. But that was the only tribe the <laughs> time the Variety Tribe lost. Oh, yeah, because then it was... <laughs> then the Swifties then just the, kept then, striking yeah, out. Then we just took a hit. Well, the first Tribal was canceled because Kodo, you know, <laughs> I know <it's> tried to... <laughs> yeah, so the Swifties ended up going to Tribal, their first Tribal where they had to vote somebody out, and Corey went out in a 4-2 to two vote. She texted every single one of our members on that team and was like, hey, just so you know, I'm trying to alliance with you. Blah, 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 blah. I'm true to my alliances. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to, like, if if you are close to winning, like, obviously I'm going to vote myself and get myself out so you can win. And apparently she was playing that with everybody. Why are you playing if you are just going to vote yourself out and let your friends win? Or let your alliances win? Friends is in quotations because we are not friends. That bitch is weird. Her and her micro bangs included. Like, <laughs> the only person who <laughs> so has released, released two albums in, like, a week span. <laughs> and a third one is coming, apparently? <laughs> what? I don't know! Who's telling this bitch? She can say I don't know! Wait, wait. So, the thing is, I don't even think she was trying to, because she said in her video diary that she told everyone that she would sacrifice herself, because she said she would be good in her alliances, and that's why she still tried to vote Amanda Alf. But, you know what it reminds me of? There was this one Survivor player in Philippines. He's, like, one of the most iconic first boots of all time, because he was so funny. His name was Zane. And basically, he was so well-liked by his tribe, and he could have, like, easily, like, gone really far in the game. But he told everyone to vote him out because he thought they liked him so much that they wouldn't. But if you're requesting to be voted out, they're going to go through with it. So he got voted out five to one. And he was like, oh, my God, even though everyone was upset and didn't want to vote him out. I mean, well, it's different with Corey because everyone just wanted her out in the first place. But still, nobody likes her. You can't say, like, you're going to sacrifice yourself and then expect to stay in. (laughs) If you guys have a tribal and you guys are at least trying to make it to jury, you're going to dump her. (laughs) 
she's also just incredibly annoying and nobody wanted her in the chat. Oh, I just got 25 points from Pazin's Pizza. No, that was mine. Oh, Actually, that was mine. That was yours. Oh, it has wait. your signature on it. Anyways. Maybe it was. <laughs> Isn't it usually 25 points though? Regardless? Yeah. Unless you have a special item. So when you go to oh restaurants and stuff, it's just 25. Yeah. One time, one time I found this like random receipt on like the side of the road and it literally was just like payment and like accepted have a nice day and there was nothing and i scanned it and it was like oh there's not a name for a store can you can you put one and so i put a random one in it it went through i just really ran and the receipt was like this big too it was like Damn. two inches long it was like jacob <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry <laughs> i so one time one time there was a receipt at um Roach Brothers self checkout that someone left behind. I took it, scanned it, two thousand points. Oh my Damn. god! For like muscle milk or I something. Love fetch. Ew. This episode is sponsored by Fetch Get Rewards. <laughs> fetch Rewards. Get your fucking rewards, people. We move on to Swifty's next challenge, which was the Family Feud. The Family <gasps> Feud was very interesting. Wait, the oh wait, what's the Family Feud? No, 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 no. Oh, oh wait, wait, Family yeah, yeah, Feud. Yeah, we are at Family Feud. Yeah. So. First of all, I just want to say Emily Holbrook ate this challenge, especially the country's question, because she was like, yo, rich history. She was pulling she up her did. AP Euro stuff, like, she in the variety drive. I, I loved Emily Holbrook. She was, like, peak player. Um, We'll get to her elimination soon, but I'm just saying, the Swifties lost, especially since Logan sold and he passed the question. <laughs> and he didn't even realize he passed, too, I think. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? He, like... What did he do? He, like, just said, like, pass or something. But he meant, he. I think he thought it would, like, pass it to another person in his tribe. <laughs> but it didn't, right? And it yeah. just meant it It's either play or pass. You play it for your tribe or you pass it to the other. Yeah. So he thought it was, like, pass to, like, another person in my tribe. But it actually passed it to the other team. And he was just so, I don't know. I don't think so. Here's the thing. I'm not bringing Family Feud back until All Stars 3 because it was to my knowledge that everybody knew how Family Feud worked. Literally nobody knew how it worked. And I was explaining it and they didn't understand it. You played Family Feud before, right? In It was in Y2K. Y2K. That was when it debuted, yeah. Yeah, I remember that because I remember Josh was trying to do it with me. And the challenge was really funny. I remember Shay getting really, really mad at Kai for saying chickpeas for the salad question. <laughs> um, and Amanda was voted out just because she was kind of the least connected with everyone. Yeah. And then we had the merge where Shay got dumped. <laughs> oh, we did. Weird. I didn't get it. What? In Gauntlet and in real life. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't until later, but yeah, same thing. I didn't Emily got anything. Emily got the clue to the idol, and then she got the idol, because there was a new one out since Shay went home with his. Yeah. So Emily got the Lemonade Idol. Which was the, what was the Lemonade Idol? Well, actually, it was the Harmony Idol, because that was the name of the tribe, but the code oh. was Lemonade, because the Beyonce album Lemonade. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so... Because I was, I, I remember I was listening to Six Inch, and I was just like, this should be an idol code. So I was like, um, so right now, in real time, Maddie Tansy just wrote on her windshield. No, 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 no. Someone's name with oh, a broken no, heart. No, oh, and now no, she's erasing no, it. And yeah. And now the car's rocking it. back and forth, just like that one time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take me back. All right, so now we're moving on to the next tribal oh, council, God. where Kai was voted out. After Emily won immunity again, because Emily eats. Actually, wait, no, this is her first time winning immunity. But, so Kai got voted out. Do you guys remember why Kai was voted out? I think people were just annoyed by his presence. Because I'm pretty sure that's why. And he voted for Logan at the at the prior tribal council for no reason. And I remember Stella told me that she was like, everyone's voting for Shay, so you should just vote for Shay. And he was like, no, I'm going to vote for Logan. And there was no reason why. He was, it was so just a it like was a Logan. seven to two to one vote. What kind of beef does he have with Logan? I know, Kai's got the biggest one sided beef with Logan Literally. for no reason. But we move into the check in challenge where Emily Holbrook wins immunity again because she was eating the season up, and this is where our, our special guest of this episode Hello. was kind of like, "Hey Sorry. guys, um, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but I don't have a dad, but I have an uncle who's like a dad." And he might die. 
Because he has cancer in his brain. And he's going to get it chopped out. Chopped out? And his cunt-ass daughter is being a bitch. So there's like a lot of family. No, I can't have a high ponytail. I look bad in them. I need to take some front pieces off. She's trying to do <laughs> her hair right now. And she's pulling out the slut strands like Marianne. <laughs> it's girl to boy. So and Marianne's a boy. <laughs> yeah, so Marianne was Ben. <laughs> I was making Marianne Ben, so then the love story. So he got adopted by one he got adopted by One Direction and then That's when, so odd. And then they picked up the hitchhiker. And then him and fell in love yeah so day 16 check in um, emily wins immunity so everyone followed through and granted her wish and she got voted out seven to one because the only person who did not follow her wish was herself <laughs> <laughs> she voted for delaney dumb are i you? fucking hate delaney i don't know why but i just did i just saw her and i said i don't like you and i tried to vote her out from day one and who fucking won and who fucking yeah, won yeah, and who fucking she won she only won because of logan his pussy ass his pu- <laughs> it's just I but we know. will go back to that later when we discuss why she won moving on so moving on pussy. day 16 this was day 16 right you have the yes this was the saddest day because there was a double tribal and logan was like oh Immunity, time to vote out Emily Holbrook. And <laughs> and they had the numbers to get rid of Stella. Especially Logan, too, because he didn't want to go against Delaney and Shauna. And Emily was her ally, so he voted against Stella. should have gone, Stella. But the thing is, like, Stella had the 50-50 idol. Yeah. So there was a chance it could have just not worked and Stella would have gone anyway, but it worked. So Stella was safe, and then Emily got sent home with three votes. And she had the idol! She had an idol in her pocket, too, so she could have been safe if she played it. Everyone's just bitching out. But I don't blame her, because, like, they <laughs> probably... She probably thought they were going to vote for Delaney, which would have made sense, because Delaney, historically, has been a huge target. Yeah. But they vote for Emily, because Logan just is peeved. So, wait, is she coming back in the next season? I don't know. I don't know if she will. I'm going to... I already said this very openly, um, but I am 100% going to invite her to All Stars 3, and it's up to her if she accepts or not. Is that the next one? No, that'll be season 15. Next one is 14. Okay. And more information about season 14 at the end, because this is going to be a pain to sit through, but I have a special offer coming up to someone who's very quick. I'll explain later. But now we're moving on to the final six where Ailish got voted out because she wasn't doing shit. <laughs> and then uh, final five, Shauna got voted out. Because they were going to vote you out. It would have been you. Cause, again, yeah, I Logan. automatically knew it was going to be me. And I was like, yeah, I really don't give a shit if it's going to be me. Because I haven't done jack shit in this season. And then Logan was like, okay, it's probably going to be you. And I was like, yeah, I know. And then Stella decided to whip out an idol out of her ass. And played it on me. And I was like, why are you playing it on me? And she was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to play it on you. And I was like, all right. So when they did try and vote me, because I voted Shauna, and I'm pretty sure Stella Stella also voted Shauna. So it's three to two. Yeah. The thing is, if that didn't happen and you went out, I actually think Shauna would have won. Because Stella would have... Good one, right? Stella would have probably won Final Immunity. I don't know. I mean, Logan still won it, but maybe she would have had an upper edge, and I don't think Stella would have got votes to win. And I think if they would have voted... I would have voted Delaney or Logan out. But I think Shauna would have won, and then there wouldn't be a two-time winner. But I still love Delaney, so I don't really care. I was glad she won. Um, we fast forward. Final four. Stella gets voted out easy peasy because, <laughs> she, she, again. Yeah, Logan won immunity that challenge. So automatically I was like, okay, Logan's bitch ass isn't going to vote for Delaney, so why not just kick out Stella? Which I kind of felt bad for because she did basically save me. But then again... Stupid decision. I wanted to go home. <laughs> I am. Uh, T Queen was probably watching on the jury and was very happy to see Stella. I was out. just watching her name. I was just waiting till it got out. <laughs> it. <laughs> it. <laughs> Wait until it got out. Final three: Delaney, Logan, and Kaylani, our own co-host, Woo! who received one vote to win. You voted me, right? Yeah, yeah, you me. voted me. It's me. Logan also got one vote to win by Stella. The other five went to Delaney, and she won. 
So here's the thing. Historically, I've always said I don't like two-time winners just because they like filling up the shit. <laughs> they fill up the homepage. But I was really glad Delaney won that season. Has she won before? Yeah, she won yeah. World Tour. Was it Logan? That time, too? I don't know. No, Logan wasn't in that season. Um, Delaney, she was final three. I think World Tour was the best final three of all time. Delaney, Shannon, and um, Michaela. Any other season, Sh- Shannon would have knocked the final three out, but Delaney was just in the final, so that's why yeah. Delaney won. Delaney, it was Michaela got zero votes, but Michaela still ate that season. She I ate. She was them. eating so much. She ate like Jada. That's how much she <laughs> ate. Like, for context, that is a lot. <laughs> and Shannon got one vote to win by Wes, I think. And the oh, other yeah. six votes went to Delaney, and Delaney won. That was Delaney's first win. She was the first winner not from Rockland, I think. Well, Maddie Kearns won, but she went to Votech, but she technically is from Rockland. Yeah. But Delaney was the first winner not from Rockland. Because all Delaney does, she's a queen. I will say that. I said that before. I'll say it again. Delaney is a queen. I love her. But yeah, she won again this <laughs> season 13. Because I remember talking in the judge panel group chat... Where we were like, like Logan was too scared. He was literally too scared to hurt their feelings. Yeah. So that's he did. Why... So that alone doesn't make him a contender for a Which winner. Which is also why he didn't want to vote Shauna because he said because Shauna and Delaney are best friends and he knew they sort of took it seriously. Mm-hmm. So, um, Logan was just like, I'm not voting Shauna because she'd somehow find out and. That would be a big mess for me, and then Delaney would be mad at me, and I don't want Delaney mad at me. And I was like, dude, tell him to suck a dick and give it up because it's a game. It's not that simple. And he was like, yeah, but that's why I'm still going to vote you. And I was like, okay, whatever. It's survival of the fittest. Yeah. And the my Friends favorite part count. about that is when Delaney told me that if Logan did vote her and Sean out, they still would have voted Logan to win. Yeah, so I don't know why he was being pussy whipped by that <laughs> i feel like if so if logan went to finals with anyone else other than delaney or shauna he would have won <laughs> he definitely would have won but he was just nope cared too much about the feelings yeah so yeah but that's pretty much it for swifties versus the world i say it was a pretty uh run of the road season it was, was, it was pretty average you know that was fun to be a part of. It was so stressful. <laughs> I was so stressed. It is very stressful, but I just give up and I raw dog it. But I need to make one thing very clear, very clear, really quick. It is September 25th, the date of this video being uploaded, the second episode. That means Gauntlet's 14th season is just, it's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming super fast, just like Maddie's exes. So. <laughs> I have a special code word. If you are the first person to listen to this and then text me the word, if you text me ramen noodle chopsticks and you decide to apply to World Tour Reloaded, not only will you be guaranteed a spot in the (laughs) season, but you will also receive something very secret when the season kicks off. So that's all I have to say for now. But we hope you tune in to our next episode. What, what if I next text week. ramen noodle chopsticks? You guys Too late, can't. I already did. <laughs> you guys can't do it. Anyways, we hope to see you next week on our next episode. Next Wednesday, uploaded at 3 o'clock, at 3 o'clock p.m., whatever. You get the drill. Um, so yeah, hope to see you then. But this has been the second episode, and I hope you enjoyed listening. Bye-bye!